Damn it, Aaron, why are you copying me? <coughs> With what? Great V-neck. I've been wearing this all day. I'm gonna go change. What's all with your little dots? They're not dots. Right. They're, they're, they're equal coming. signs. They go like in and out. Or quotation camera. marks. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's, just, it's just a really soft shirt. I don't care about mm. the dots. Ooh. No, it stretches! Yeah. Hey guys, Coral Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with the bear. bear. Aaron, you weren't here last week. No, I wasn't. How did you feel about the episode we had last week? Uh, I don't know. The whole series, I'm not sure yet on. Mm -hmm. It's just been like, slow. I'm yeah. not sure where we're going with mm -hmm. things quite yet. But they uh, started the brigade. Uh, there's something with a Nico guy that Nico like, guy, yeah. Richie went and paid off, or I don't know what he did. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, uh, Shoot, what's his name? Camry? Is that his name? Carmi? Carmine. Carmine. It's not Carmen. Carmine. It's Carmen. His name's like Carmine. They call him Carmine all the time. I think his real name is Carmine. His they name call is him. Cameron. No, it's... Which right? person are you talking about? The main guy. Carmen. I'm pretty sure his name's not Carmine, right? Yeah, it's Carmine. I would bet $100 it's not Carmine. <laughs> I don't know now. Right? What I write down his name is. I wrote down his name is Carmen. That you wrote? Well, with the... Right, Carmine. I wrote C-A-R-M-I-N-E. If Calvin's right, he should have shook, his hand, shook my hand, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking down. <laughs> but he went to Alcohol's Anonymous as mm -hmm. well. Yes. And I don't... I assume it's for him because his brother was an alcoholic. Maybe he's also been drinking. Or is Wait. he trying to get con closer to his brother, maybe? In yeah, a way? we talked a little bit last week about it. Because the woman that got up and spoke. She was kind of talking from a point of view of someone that had alcoholism like in their life, but it wasn't her. So maybe well, it's like yeah. a survivor thing too. It's mm. they they said in the meeting like it's not just the person who's yeah. dealing with alcoholism. It's a family <laughs> disease. Right? Sure. Like yeah. everybody has to deal with it when one person is dealing like with it. Like if her husband had it, it still affects yeah. her. And what's mm -hmm. it like for that to happen? Yeah. So my favorite part of the whole episode was uh What's the guy's name? The it's like, you betrayed me! Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> when she came and started... <laughs> it's not great. Oh. <laughs> you betrayed me! <laughs> you betrayed me! You want to talk about who betrayed someone? That uh, damn... Uh, what's her name? Tina? Is that her name? Uh -huh. Oh, you, like, my gosh. One of the things. And I'm like the stock. Like, she's, like, just trying to sabotage things. And I'm like, she's almost as bad as Richie. Mm -hmm. She's just doing it, like... I think she's worse than Richie. Richie outright just, did, like, hates everything. And, like, will sure. say it to your face. But she's, like... She'll, she'll just be like, I don't speak English, and then we'll burn your onions, you know? Yeah. Or you're stopped. But they did have a good conversation at the end there. I mean, not with her, but they had a good conversation <laughs> about yeah. uh, the things that she needs from him and that he needs from her. Yeah. And, uh, that was and good. I thought that was good, too. Yeah. Calvin, what'd you find out? It is Carmen, but in the subtitles and the character accents, they had for sure said Carmine with an I-N-E. I'm going to ask put that on you guys because I did not get Carmine. The only time I ever heard Carmine was when I heard Eric say it once and I'm like, did he say Carmine? No. Eric, maybe Eric, he says things weird sometimes. Maybe he just said Carmen in a weird voice. Yeah, because the first episode, <laughs> like, they, like, somebody said Carmen. I think it was maybe the, the sister. May, yeah. Carmen or something like that. Because I wrote down Richie, Sydney, like, Carmen, and Sugar. Yeah. But I feel like Richie has called him Carmine with that thick, thick accent. And maybe that's just, you know, like the Italian... Hmm. Way of saying it. I don't know. All right. Remember when Blind Wade forgot the main character? <laughs> I didn't. We're I learning. <laughs> they also call him Carmi. Yeah, but that's like, a, that's like a shortened version of Carmen, but not really much. Or Carmine. Not really much shortened because it's the same syllable. It's really it? close to Carney. Carney. The Carnies make food. They do. Not they necessarily just heat, the best. They just heat up food Philly that someone else steaks? made. He's been making some Philly cheesesteak looking things. They just heat up food that someone else made. That's a carny okay? food. That's, Dude, carny food is not either... I ever call a carny Carny chef. food's either the best <laughs> food, like the best tasting, or the worst. And There's no, there's no in between. <laughs> right. It's either, oh man, this is the freshest, uh, most perfect, uh, like oily, <laughs> salty pretzel I've ever uh, had, or it's a brick and I can pound nails yeah. in with it. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's hope the brigade makes better food than the bricks. I want a blue nugget. No! Oh, did we fix the mixer? Or is it still shitting? Yes. No. Man, 
And all those buckets look like the food that the donuts they had from. Uh... Oh man, donuts! Is that one guy making donuts instead of just straight up bread? Just fried bread. Yeah, or I know, but this he's is, only been making bread. Now he's making like. Or this is like the donuts that they buy and then bring to the store in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they have the bread guy. The bread guy had like get all those pictures on the wall. That's a hell of a donut, Eric. Mm -hmm. Did you see that thing? Mm -hmm. It was like this big around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's just at a fresh donut place. Yeah. Okay. So he's just getting ideas. Yeah. This guy. This guy's gonna make some donuts. Patissier. You know? What the hell? Hot dog. Hot dog. The original beef. It ha only has mustard. Why the hell did he get a blow up hot dog? Now put this shirt on. Why are you trying to put a T-shirt on a fucking hot dog? Just <laughs> love hot dogs, dumbass. Give me a it's hand. not gonna fit. That's not gonna fit, cousin. It's not gonna fit. Alright, you just help me out. It's gonna fit. It's not. I hope they don't pop it. I also hope they do pop it. They're fighting with a hot dog between them. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, big your shit. Big your shit, you fucking baby. You fucking baby. Fucking baby. Right. Ah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna get the spare from the basement. <laughs> it's all business. <laughs> I'm just doing what I was asked to do, uh -huh. and I get what it's like to be a woman in the kitchen do you and know what it's have like to be a woman in the kitchen. Wow, that's amazing. Listen, I have been in this kitchen since before you were born, so just back yeah, and the it's fuck off. failing. Excuse me. And it's been failing for a long time. And uh, you've done nothing to improve it. You're fired! Sorry. I swear to God, cousin, if he calls me Rick, I'm a fucking loser. Cousin, listen, do me a favor, okay? I'm trying to get us out of this hole, all right? I want today to go smooth. Please do not bring that shit up. Chill. I'm not going to bring up shit, all right? No, oh, you got it all wrong! It's literally no. that easy. <laughs> Smash cut. You want us to get this stuff out back, or how do you, uh... Yeah. Take it around the side for me. Around the you? side, sure. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Rick. <laughs> I fucking hate when you fucking call me hate it when you don't Rick. answer your phone. Food's here, kitties. <laughs> Within your shot. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so not stressful at all. Food's here, kitties. They're on the grill. I gotta get the dogs going. Just give me a second here. Richie, what the fuck is that? Relax. Shit's regulated. Suffer from anxiety and dread. Who doesn't? Which uh, box you put the ketchup in? Hmm? The ketchup, which box? I didn't bring ketchup. Why didn't you bring ketchup? You don't put that on what kind those. of asshole is gonna put? Really? You're gonna side with Richie? You're on with this? Richie. All right, Aaron. Yeah, he's right. You laid your bet. Your, your bed. I mean, he's right. He can be an asshole, but he can still be right. Cousin, what's up with all this gay ass fruit? Homemade ecto cooler, motherfucker. Oh, ecto shit. Cool. It's actually pretty fucking dope. <laughs> Rest in peace, Harold. Oh. Well, that's oh, just no. out. That's just Why is that out open? where there's kids. Yeah. My guys. Wow, Chester, yes. Wow. Who's this guy? Chester. Of course, bloody dog. dog. Yes, hey, bro. Oh, hey, just, uh, hi, honey. What up, T? What you got over there? Mashed potatoes. Woo hoo! I wish I had that. <laughs> oh, uh, new edition, all the fresh colors. Color chips. Hey, Chef Sydney. Cool. Um, why are you here? Sorry. Oh, getting my boy dialed, dropping off some inspirational materials. He's a designer. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you design? All of it. All of it, just, uh, just home, designs. That guy, is, that guy got real awkward. Can I colors? I was thinking maybe I could do a classic donut for the beef. On top of my other stuff, of course. Yeah. But, I mean, I think it could be hot. If you're into it, then I'm into it. Let me know what you need for help, all right? All right, gladly. Thank you, chef. So you didn't make any of these ones, or are these the ones you made? No, no, I haven't made any yet. I'm just trying to do some research, you know, build yeah. out the texture, see what it's really about. Oh, that's nice. Do you talk about feel? Yeah. Not like that, though. You... Oh, that's nice. It, it, you it, it sounds like, you know, when you go to your grandma's house and she has the cushion on the to top of the toilet yeah. seat? Oh, you yeah. sit on it? It's like slight nice. deflating. And it, it, and it smells like potpourri, but it also yeah. smells like grandma? I hate My that. grandma had one of those, and I hated it. 
I used to sit on the bowl rather than sit on that thing. I ain't got that far. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. Behind the ball. Catch, catch up. Catch up. Can you not see this? Catch up. I can't hear you when you're screaming. They're opening all my presents? They're opening all his presents? What the hell? Putting up other people's stuff for Carol, can you please help me? It really fucking sucks in here. There's opening presents. Those shits. Oh, that was fucking weird. Don't you fuck up one of his properties, too? Actually, no. Because you know what, Jimmy? I don't fuck up properties. Oh. You know? Sometimes, people think they're calling me to fix the toilet, but in reality, they called somebody else. All you had to do was pick up the fucking phone, man. I never got a fucking call! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's what she said. It's friggin' malarkey. I repeatedly bro. called Rick at 847-555-0186. Number sound familiar, Ricky? Yeah. Because that's Michael's number. <sighs> that kid, man. That kid. Think she's gonna mess him up? I think she messed him up. Um, cool, so. Okay, I got it. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, thanks, I got it. Got it. Thank you, Sean. Got it. She never shows any respect to anybody. Ever. Mm -mm. You know? This shit wasn't spicy. Like, why would they lie about that? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dudes? Yeah. He's taped the shirt on the hot the dog. <sighs> so just laughing it up over here? Nope. <laughs> Man. Man, they don't like this guy. No way, like Ghostbusters? Yeah. <laughs> they were the old, like, Capri Sun kind of packs. Do you remember that? Whoa, no way. This is, like, identical, dude. Good. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Bustin' makes me feel good. <laughs> bustin', 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 bustin'. <laughs> no, I, I remember. <laughs> this is was it, like, nap time or something? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about this guy. Oh, oh he no. totally did. Weird. Totally did. Uh, I fucking knew it. No. Richie, how you been, man? I got to, uh, you know, cool, 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 cool. Did he put the meds he in the dosed, He dosed the jug. <sighs> Does he see pills in it? Or the bottle? Fuck. Fuck, shit. Pills. How did the whole bottle in the middle of uh, Ketchup here. Thanks. Did he come and got ketchup? <laughs> Don't kill me. Uh, Wait for this. We uh, we spilled a, a bottle of Xanax in the uh, cooler. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he fell asleep eating on the ground. Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> yeah. Pay you extra. Oh yeah. Keep up the good work. You're killing it. Right. Yeah, my boss is maybe not the worst guys to work for. Okay, chefs, let's get ready to taste the potatoes. Certainly not, Narc. Ready to taste the potatoes, chefs. How's it yeah. going, Tina? Not, uh, not mashing very well, are they? Good. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. She already has a new one on. She already made one. Good. Like maybe she knows what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. Like you maybe know? she went to school for this and didn't just work in a kitchen for a while. Go ahead, get it over with. I want over with. Taste it and tell me it's shitty. Great. Thanks, Chef. What? It's great. Thank you, Chef. Now, uh, let's hurry up and roll before we get rolled, yeah? Does she not have trust in herself? Is that what's wrong? Is that well, why she's, she's so defensive all the time? Sure. Because she doesn't think that she's good? She's never attempted to do it right? <sighs> she's never gotten, like, never gotten praise. Praise, yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Chef. Hmm. 
Later, Richard. All right. Until next time, James. Hey, uh, you guys want to see something disgusting? It's <laughs> so mysterious to me. He's sitting there just sleeping like a baby. I want to beat the living yeah, fucking crap exactly. out of him. You know? Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to take him home. Yo, yo, got some family dessert? Oh, right, all right. Yeah. Some cake. Yeah, and ice cream. Let's try this cake and see if we put it on the menu that we're doing. Maybe. Or just in general. Hey. Chef. That's so funny. I thought the Xanax in the drink it was gonna be a huge problem. Was gonna be huge. He's like, eh, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. He's like. Carol, can you help me? It kind of fucking sucks in here! <laughs> Those <laughs> kids! Kids were ripping up the presents! The presents of the oh other my kid. gosh, I would take a shovel to them. I don't think I've ever... <laughs> I would go fucking crazy, man! I have been to kids' parties. Oh my god! Being to kids' parties and my own parties and oh. having my own kids and being at parties, I don't think I've ever seen kids just tear into some kids' birthdays presents, you know? I've seen yeah. other kids that they were too small to understand try but their parents stopped them, and that's as far as it got. Sure. And I, I guess I've seen, like, I have seen kids help open presents. Sure. For when it's time to open presents. But that was like, it was just, here's the present pile. They hadn't even gotten the cake yet. Yeah. Them. That was a free for all. Ah. Oh. No, I mean, of course he was just like, ah, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not a narc. He ain't gonna call the cops. <laughs> I wonder if we've, uh, Help build a little bit to fix the Tina situation stuff. Like that's the first time her so. saying thank you, Chef. She never says Chef. No, she. Yeah, she makes a joke out of everything and deflects, and she's just kind of like, uh, I don't follow the rules, kind of. Yeah, well, mentality. I know how. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't need, I've been I doing this for longer. System. Yeah, nothing can change. This is how it's supposed to be. You don't know anything. Yeah, I think there was some... But then she messed up the recipe, and she already had the recipe ready to be fixed because she didn't want to fuck around with it at all, and it was good, right? Mm -hmm. It had flavor there. You're and right. then I guess she has a lack of self-confidence yeah. because maybe her and Carmen are both like, they know what they're doing. They've been chefs in places that are like real chef places kind of thing, right? Like this is just like a little restaurant, and we don't know what we're doing kind of feel, and she doesn't have like self-confidence in how she cooks. Whereas like... They built that up in the baker, right? Mm -hmm. Like he's starting to have a little bit more, yeah, more to it. He, he, want, he he's wanting to strive. He needs to, right? He needs to express himself. Yeah, so. yeah. He's wanting to grow and try something new and do more than just yeah. making shitty bread. They're like, oh, this is better bread, mm -hmm. right? Now it's like not just making better bread. Now it's making new stuff that he hasn't made before. And maybe they'll do the same to her. You know, I don't know. You're right. Yeah, and You're if right. they, if they. Um, order their bread in that gives him more time to just do this kind of shit you sure know? the stuff that really excites him because he doesn't have doesn't have like bread and rolls and shit up on his wall he has cakes and donuts <laughs> he wants to do that shit yeah he has desserts basically yeah desserts are the that's the fun thing that people like to look at right like it always looks cool and neat and then you eat it and it's delicious <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah right and it's the thing that you can plate and make look so nice and then also make it taste just fantastic whereas sure. Bread like, typically, I don't bread feel doesn't as, look. I mean, it doesn't typically look as good, you know. Well, it's not colored. Yeah, it's not. Right, it's just kind of a brown block. <laughs> you know, like sure. You can bake it in different shapes and stuff. But like you can you, do like unless cool, you ice like, it. You don't ice bread, you know. Sure, you can like braid the bread cool before you ice it, and then you can slice <laughs> it and like put different drizzles and stuff in it. But usually, it's just. Bread. It's, it's yeah. what you eat along with the fancy shit, yeah. you know? Or is it for a sandwich? It's like a filler. Yeah, you don't want to ice your sandwich. I mean, I do. What? what sandwich I will you? take any food right now. You should have had lunch. There's an ice <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat it. Uh. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. Tina. I, I, I get it, and you're right. Like, there is the... Uh, like the food management part of me, that's like this is when you you finally have gotten this lesson. But that's I'm glad I'm, I have to say I'm glad for that she's at least gotten the lesson. Sure, well, it's also it's hard. just nuts that that's how long it took. 
I don't. I mean, I don't know how long it's been. But I, mean, I think it, it's yeah. also hard yeah. being someone who's been there for years, mm-hmm. and then someone new comes in and is tells telling you, you, "I know a better way. Let's do it my way." Yeah, it's got to be a hard thing. Sure. I remember being at takes, GameStop trying to get an assistant management position, yeah. and then they ended up hiring someone from like CC's Pizza. Yeah, and then I was like training them how to do stuff, but they wouldn't give me that position. You know? Sure. Yeah. No, I'm I like, get this is, sucks. That's like, I should be there. You yeah. know? Like, but. But you've been here for so long, it's failing, we just gotta see, you know, it's not like the way it was has the great greatest track record. And I feel Maybe. like they've like tried to get people on board, like, hey, we all need to circle the wagons and do something. And her just refusing to, for like the third time, just put, put her on my shit list. But sure. I have, as a watcher, I have to be happy that she at least got... No, I something out of this. I'm happier that there was some <laughs> <I'm mad. laughs> that there was some mutual understanding and respect that yeah. was passed back and forth. I'm glad that yeah. it's it's progressing to a more like yeah. healthy and productive way rather than just healthier. Yeah. <laughs> there has to be something to help it click for everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Like at some point, like even Richie is bound to kind of change a tune. It's sure. just a matter of what is that, right? Yeah. Like he was kind of talking with uh the uncle. Cicero, yeah. As opposed James. to initially just arguing. Yeah. No, I mean, absolutely. Like, that is a, he's a very uh, scared person. And he protects himself by always being on the defensive 100% of the time. Mm. If he does that, no matter how vulnerable he is, he's never going to get got. Yeah. Is what he thinks. But that, so. that makes him one of the most vulnerable people in the world. Sure. You know? And it's a great character flaw. And hopefully, for a character like this, as long as he's also funny, it works for me. It works for me. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I imagine we'll see these characters grow in interesting ways. <laughs> but damn, I, 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 I did not expect the show to go in those interesting ways. <laughs> Say next. Man, I don't know. Yeah. How did the whole bottle end up? Uh, was it just Richie put it in there or what? I guess. If he, I don't accident. I mean, it was on the table open, right? Yeah, but how did it end up and then, inside I don't the know. bucket? The whole bottle, not just like the pills sprinkled in. Yeah. Like the whole fucking bottle was in there. Yep. Uh, Richie also has your opinion that not only would you not put ketchup on a hot dog, you will deny it to others. It just doesn't belong there. Yeah, it doesn't belong. You know better. So. I mean, I do. So, yeah. It's true. The correct. I, I was going to say, like, well, they're in Chicago. Like, there's a different, like, Chicago-style hot dog. Not necessarily, I think, of ketchup. Yeah. Know? The correct ingredients for hot dogs is, like, relish, uh-huh. onions, if you want to do some kind of sauce or chili kind of yes. thing, and cheese, and mustard. Like, those yeah. are the correct things to put on hot dogs. That, Maybe yeah. pickle, but that's also relish is basically pickle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So It's just a sure. saucier pickle. Yeah. But just ketchup, like, just ketchup on a hot dog is wrong. I never said just ketchup. No, that's what you said. I didn't. You did. You said just ketchup is better than... I think you said just ketchup is better than nothing. Oh, I I agree with that. Yeah. (laughs) that. Which I think is wrong. You know what? I think it's better than no ketchup. It depends on the hot dog, too. It really does. Like, if you have a really good, like... Polish sausage, you know? Bratwurst or sausage or something, Uh, fuck the ketchup, enjoy the meat. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think bratwurst is a hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, I think that, like, a sausage kind of thing is... It goes into a different category. What category? I don't know. Probably still just needs mustard. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't put relish on it. I don't know. Something about that the sausage thing. Like it's just no, it's a I different would, flavor, yeah. you know? Polish it's sausage. Not shitty I enough. would I would for sure. Put I don't know, hot dogs are different. Yeah. I mustard, kind of, relish, and onion so, on it. I kinda feel like a What do you put on bologna? On bologna? Yeah. Like on a bologna sandwich? Yeah. Cheese and mayo? Mayo? Yeah. What's wrong with you? You ever put what? mayo on a bologna sandwich? No. I've heard of that before. Yeah. No, yeah. what's ew. <laughs> you're so judgmental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you're judging Tina. I, I'm she deserves judging, it. I'm just judging what you she eat. She does. No, I'm, bologna like has always been a, a must <laughs> yeah. thing for me too. I would. Ne- would you ever put ketchup on a bologna sandwich? Uh, I never have. But if someone was doing it, I wouldn't like fucking flip over the table. What are you doing? Sure. Get out of my kitchen. No, I, I yeah. get you. But like bologna is made from the same stuff that yeah. like hot dogs are made from. Sure. You know? So I'm just like that's just a tubular bologna. Yeah. So mm. it's mustard. <laughs> gotcha. But you know what? I would never eat a hot dog cold. Like I would bologna. No. But I don't like fried bologna either. Well, like bologna I don't want warm is, bologna. Bologna is huh. different than just hot dog. So it's, yeah, but it's all like just ground. Have you ever had like a, sure, there, like a but it's thick different. piece of bologna? Yeah, like yeah a, I mean they make like, thick ones. And it's like charred and stuff? That one's oh, like charred. You yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. fried bologna. I, no, fried. Something about it seems oh, wrong to me. So really? I've never done fried bologna. 
I've try, had it one time. Try it. It's real good. I know people eat it, but it just seems, I'm like, I don't know. I'd the, rather, the thicker, the better for me. When I just eat cold. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. It's weird. Got to make sure it's hot all the way through. Otherwise, it's... Do you put mayonnaise on a hot dog? Nasty. I have, but not, like, as a default. I've seen other people Just, like, have some yeah. hot dog. I got I to change it up, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. My traditional hot dog would just be like, if I had nothing else, just mustard, wiggled, done. Sure. But my bologna sandwich is always bologna, mustard, like cheese. Done. I mean, if I could have anything, it's hot dog sauce and then maybe cheddar cheese. Yeah, that's a lot of work, though. Like chili yeah, cheese, hot dog? Yeah. If I just warm a hot dog in the microwave yeah. and I just grab a bun, hot yeah. dog, yeah, fucking hot. Yeah, mustard, good. Shh. I'm 100% putting ketchup and mustard on. Ketchup and mustard? Maybe even like a slice of you know, cheese you know what I think on, it, on the bun. <laughs> you slice know? of cheese on the hot dog? Okay, you're getting a little yeah, crazy, but all right. But the, I think the ketchup's too sweet. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I, think I the, mean, I think you I have think to use it sparingly. I think the amount of ketchup that a lot of people put on burgers is not the amount of ketchup that you could put on a hot dog. Mm. Maybe that's right. it. Because when I think of people putting ketchup on a hot dog, it's just like... Yeah. I, like well, just, yeah. No yeah. way. I'm like, like, also, I want the thinnest of strips on there. I want a, a, a taste of it, not a mouth. And I'll grant this. If it's not well shook before you do it, oh. and that weird ketchup water comes just out, water? Oh, it is red worse water. without... Yeah, just give me a hot dog and bread. That's all I need. It's always There's, heavier with mustard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mustard. It's the same with mustard. It lasts but forever. It's, it's so much easier to shake a mustard bottle it, it, than a ketchup really bottle. Is. It really is. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, I agreed with Richie. It's no, funny. Just don't even bring it. It's funny. Like you I got know. mustard or nothing. <laughs> it's kids. It's their preference. He had a spare hot dog look. I'll, I'll, I'll get the one out of the basement. <laughs> I, know, I, I cracked up to know it. Those two fighting around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, such a big guy. <laughs> you big baby. <laughs> and then the slow hiss of it popped. Oh, that's funny. And then they just taped the shirt. Or, I yeah. assume Richie taped I the shirt. I assume on top Richie of it. taped it. And it, it wasn't even the back of it, right? No. That was the big beef logo. <laughs> yeah. It had the little bitty logo it on did, the front. It did. A little tiny. <laughs> I'm like, man, she just turned it around. Yeah. So, uh, Phil. That they don't like is that because she she was he was with sugar, like they were together. Well, is that that's his and that's, that's her the family? that's her boyfriend or whatever, right? Current boyfriend. That's her is, fiance. Is that the one who was on the phone? It's like, hey, tell him, don't worry about last time. You know, yeah, I deserve so, yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that, him. That's that's yeah. Pete. That's so. Pete. I don't know. They I thought they called him Phil at one point, but then they also called him Pete, right? Well, no, I wrote, Phil was another guy. Phil, I wrote Pete and yeah. sugar. Are we talking about Peter Phil? Or episode two. Pete was the guy in the the zip up vest thing that they all okay. said, oh, yeah, he's gonna like call the cops on us or yeah, something. Yeah, the one who was drinking the Xanax. Okay. Yeah. Right? That's and he was passed out on the couch and they drove him home. Which one was Phil? That's, Phil was the guy Phil was the guy that walked up while they were like talking and stuff, and he walked up and was like, Hey, hey Rich. He's like, That was fucking weird. What was he wearing? Uh like flannel. Was he? Okay, he wasn't wearing a vest. Hmm. Okay. He might have been, but I remember it was... He's shorter, rounder faced with a beard. Well, Pete's the one who's the narc, right? Yeah. Right? That's the That's one with sugar, said. right? Not Phil? Or Phil's the one with sugar? Fuck, I don't know. Man. Go back to the other I, episode. And I, it, Neither of them were in the last episode. Some people would say... Well, episode two had a well, Pete I'm, and sugar, but... I'm saying the last episode that we talked to sugar. The sister, sugar. right? Yeah, was that one or two? We talked about I think it was two. Because that's the same episode. But Pete's with Sugar. I don't know what Phil's relation to Sugar is. Is he like an ex? Right? Because. Wait, why are we. Like, I mean, wait, he was who's, like, who says any, anything about Sugar and Phil? Who said that? It's. Uh, well, it's, Cicero and. They said about Phil and Sugar? Or, not, or Pete? Oh, in episode two, I have Pete and Sugar together, like with an arrow between them. Sure. What I'm asking is, why are we talking about Phil and Sugar? What brings that together? Well, he said, like, your sister during that time. Oh, yeah, she was real upset. Was that around the Phil time? Uh, no. It was Pete's the here. Sugar better watch herself. Watch his ass. Watch, his ass. watch Pete. Yeah. They don't like Pete. Because he's a narc. He's yeah. Like a narc. And then Phil just walks up. Not being Pete, okay. right? Yeah. So I don't think yeah, Phil, Phil's not being I don't think Pete. Phil has any relation okay. to Sugar. You guys confused me. Well, that's why I was confused. What you know about? Yeah. Trying and to then, make sure. And then Pete later will say the stuff about she's mad. At she's mad at you, or yeah. she was mad at you at that time. Yeah, you're gonna owe her a lot of phone okay. calls, right? Yeah, like 50. because he's ignored however many calls and texts and sure. stuff. 
So he's living with her. We're learning, and we can't look up things because we can be spoiled. I have a clue who Phil is. He just fucking showed up. To I think he, yeah. <laughs> Has some kids being knocked out out in the yard right now. Well, yeah, in a bit. And Chester's weird. I felt that was awkward, wasn't it? Chester, the old guy? The, no, the, the guy who, like, brought the colors. And he, like, hugged Sid- Sidney and then uh, stood there. Yeah. His roommate. Like, yeah, the roommate. Do you think he's a roommate? Oh, you think the roommate was like, I, I a thought, code? I thought it could be code. Uh-huh. No, I didn't think that at all. No? Maybe. So, order for roommates, but it's also Chicago. And I've watched Friends, and they were roommates for, like, ten years. Tons of them were roommates, roommates. Eric. They were just roommates. And they were roommates. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they were roommates. I don't know. I just got a, a feeling. So, you're, so that's my theory. You're defaulting to... Okay. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching The Bear with us. We have more Bear to watch, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Each week, we'll have more right here. You can also see more right now, though, over at blindwave.com mm-hmm. with full length mm-hmm. and early access and mm-hmm. recommendations over there. <laughs> Update them. Do that. Recommend shows over on blindweb.com so we know what to watch delivery. or to put on polls. Recommendations. <laughs>